This is EFTM. Everything for the man. EFTM. Motoring. Everything for the man. Awesome. All right, I'm Chris, instructing in the Lamborghini Gallardo. Here with Trevor. Trevor Long, right? That's it. And uh, we're going to do five laps tonight. Welcome to Exotics Racing once nice again. So uh, this car here has paddle shift. You ever used paddle shift before? A couple of times, yep. Yeah, okay, cool. Just remember that uh, paddle shifters on this car, um, it's going to allow you to shift gears while being at full throttle or full brakes. Right. So if you're at full throttle going up the front straight, when you click an upshift, you don't have to let off on the gas. Same rule applies with the brakes. When you apply the brakes and you do a downshift, you definitely do not want to let off on the brakes to downshift. Just stay braking while downshift. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's nice about this car is this car can be driven around this racetrack in third gear without shifting, with the exception of the front straightaway will hit fourth gear. But everywhere else on the track, no other shifting needed, okay? Yep. Once we're back on the brakes, downshift it back into third at the end of the straightaway, just leave it third all the way around. Okay. So super easy to drive as far as that goes. Um, braking, in this car, probably number one most common mistake people make is under brakes, and that's because they don't brake hard enough for two reasons. One, this car has a lot of travel in the brake pedal. So you have to push the brakes in pretty far to start feeling a brake effect. Secondly, obviously the car's going a lot faster than you're used to going, maybe, depending on your track experience. So um, when you apply the brakes, you need to just progressively go in harder and harder and harder. You're carrying a lot of speed, so we need to scrub off all that speed. So just brake progressively harder, that allows weight to transfer to the front tires, giving you more grip, allowing you to brake harder and so on. Yeah. So just progressively brake all the way to the green cone. Once you release the brakes, you can start your turn. Uh, the car will still be nose down even after you release the brakes. A lot of weight on the front wheels still. So just a little bit of gas to bring the car back balanced, giving you traction to the rear again. And just hold the car balanced, cracked off idle, all the way through the turn until you start straightening out the wheel onto the next straightaway. Once you start straightening out the wheel, then you can start squeezing on the gas again. So just remember, you can never go full throttle while being fully tucked into the car. Okay? That makes sense? Absolutely. So just think about balance with the gas pedal. Uh, the cones around the racetrack, the green cones especially, you saw those on Discovery yep, Labs, right? green on the outside, two greens on the inside of the apex. Correct, yes. Pretty much if you see a green cone, aim straight for it and get as close as you can to that cone before you start your turn. Also the apex cones, the green cones down there, same rule applies. All the way down to the green cones, as close as you can. Yeah. And that'll allow you to go faster. It's also more fun to drive that way. It yeah. makes you use up all the racetrack and you can carry a lot of speed as a result. And I'll show you the cones and I'll show you how to negotiate the corners using the cones. Yeah, double orange braking. Yeah, double orange is braking. Just brake from the double orange all the way to the green. All that braking distance. You just keep braking harder and harder and harder. There's a couple places where it's just a quick brake check and release, but uh, mostly the main straightaways is where the hard braking is. And I'll show you that and I'll show you everywhere on the track um, how to do it. And hopefully by the fifth lap we're going pretty good, okay? Well, yeah. All right, any questions? Nope. Okay, let's do it. Right now the steering wheel is turned all the way left, I think. So let's do one full turn to the right. All the way left, you think? There you go, just like that. That's yeah. straight. And with your foot on the brake, we'll click it into first gear. Just remember how high those ge gear we're going shift straight levers through, are. Aren't we? Yeah, we're going to go straight through. Okay. Yep. These gear shift levers, uh, remember how high that is because just below it is the windshield wiper. Yeah, I was going to say they are quite a bit. Yeah, so not just, yeah. Okay, straight on out right through here. Okay, it seems a very narrow spot. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Especially when you're in a car you're not familiar with. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm going to hit it. Yeah. They say you're the last one of the day, huh? Oh, really? So oh, man. Just, we so I think here? you got everybody. Everybody's clear of the track, I think. Let's see. Let's take a peek. We're, we're clear. Hard before. left turn. Right through those blue cones there. And we're off straight ahead to the green cone. Upshift here. Keep aiming for that cone. One more upshift. That's third gear. So we're good to go. Turn it. A little bit of gas. Looking down the straightaway, squeezing on the gas now as you unwind the wheel. Full throttle right there. Upshift, good. Brake, no more. Downshift once. Ease off the brakes. Foot's back on the gas pedal. Now you can just start turning tighter and tighter. Looking down the straightaway, squeezing on the gas as you unwind the wheel. Full throttle right here. off the brakes, turn it, a little bit of gas, just cracked off idle, that's balance, far right side of the track, very nice, brake, release the brakes, turn it left, look to the far left of the track, that'll help you with the sun, squeeze on the power, full throttle, brake, aiming for the green cone, keep braking, release the brakes, now you can turn it, you drive it like you've done this before, squeeze on the power, right side of the track, brake, 
Release the brakes, turn it left, a little bit of gas, aim straight for that green cone. Brake again, keep aiming for it. Release brakes, turn, squeeze on the gas as you unwind the wheel. Full throttle. And that's a lap around the track. Up shift, it's getting on. That's awesome. That you've is done, just You've awesome. done some track days before, huh? I've had a bit of a go okay. around the place. Okay, good. Whew. I was going to say, this isn't your first time. <laughs> that was good, really fun. good. That first corner out of the chicane is tough to see the, uh, tough to aim for the, for the, uh, for the outside mark because you just want to go in. Yeah, it's, yeah, for sure. If you don't know the if track. If you hadn't said really it a couple of times, I would have gone too tight. Right. So that green cone out there, that that helps your, your straightaway speed, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Pick a spot, anyone. Man, those brakes. Gear shifts are nice and brutal. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, they're not they're not simple little right. DSG style, you know, you can't feel it happen. Right. You feel that gear change Yeah, happen. you feel it go boom, paddle. Yeah. Both paddle shifts at the same time, they'll put it in neutral and you can take your foot off the brake. There you go. Well, that's all there is to it, man. You did awesome. That is really, I'll, really cool, I'll man. I'll drive with you all day long. <laughs> <laughs> that is just fantastic. You make it man. easy for me. Cheers. That was good. This is EFTM. Everything for the man. <laughs> 